Hi guys, what's going on? It's Jason Craig here and in today's video I'm going to be doing a live meal prep. I'm going to be showing you guys exactly how I meal prep and uh, exactly what I do. Yeah. So I am actually not in my place. I'm actually in a different country. I'm here in Antigua at a guest house for work. I made some groceries. I did an earlier video on that showing you guys exactly what I did. So yeah, I'll link that somewhere in the description. You guys can go back and check it out. So what I'm going to be doing, I'm going to be meal prepping my bulk items. These are the ones I'll be using for the rest of the week. And then from there, I will then take all different portions as is needed for the meal. All right. So let's start by taking all the different things that we have here. Uh, let me just clear up here a bit. All right. So in my cupboard here, as you guys can see, these are some of the things that I have bought and uh, olive oil. So we're going to leave that olive oil. I've got some brown rice. I've got some potatoes. As you guys can see here, so these are the ones I'm going to be meal prepping. I have some lentils as well, and what I have already done, just so you guys can see this, I have pre-soaked it. Let me see if you guys can get a close-up here. I right, see so Bryce probably not seeing that, but I've pre-soaked the lentils in this, and so I have that there. So the plan is going to be, I'm going to be baking the potatoes in the oven. I'm going to be Put in the rice as well, just in a skillet. So I'll put it in a skillet and uh, warm it up just to have like a toasted rice. And this is something that you can do. Now with grains, grains do require a uh, several hours for cooking, right? So this is the easiest way to do this. And the reason for this is that it helps with digestion. Now what I would normally do is you can put this in a rice cooker and slow cook it. And when it's finished, just leave it and warm for a few hours and that will help to break down the phytic acid so that your body can actually use it better, right? If you cook your grains for longer hours, you're gonna find that they're gonna be digested a lot easier than if you do the traditional way of cooking it, right? What I've also done with soaking this overnight, it also helps with some of the breaking down of that phytic acid, right? So what I'm gonna be doing here with this, um, I don't think I have the space here, but just outside I can put this in, you can put it on a baking sheet, evenly spread it, and put it in the oven for a few, like just say 45 minutes. Or you could take a skillet, or something like this. Um, again, I'm using what I have available here. You can take a skillet, and you can pour some in there, and just sort of toast the grains, just for a few minutes, and then you can now put it back inside of your container, so that the next time you're ready to use it, it's already when it already has the phytic acid broken down. All right, so just something to note. So I'm not sure if I'll be doing this one today, but I just wanted to point that out. The same thing applies for the oats. You can put this in a baking sheet and leave it in the oven for a couple of minutes, just so I, so I toss and to toss it around. And that's again gonna break down the phytic acid. Basically the phytic acid is something that hinders the other nutrients in your body from getting digested. So if this is broken down, then you will get more out of your food. If it is not broken down, then you will be eating but not getting as much as you should. All right, I just make it an easy way to understand it. So with this, you could actually do granola if you wanna, or you can also do the toasting of it and then put it back in your container so that the next time you have to use it, it's already prepared. All right, um, right. So let's start with the potatoes. Let me go here with the potatoes. So I'm gonna bring the potatoes out. Um, of course, let's wash them. So let me head over here. So I have my water already filled up here. So I'm just gonna throw a few of these potatoes out here. Let's wash them, make sure that they're nice and clean. Right. Now I'm using what I have to do, right? So I'm not in my own kitchen, so I have to use what's available, right guys? <laughs> Alright, so let's get into this thing here. It's gonna be fun. Uh, I don't think I've ever done a meal prep video, so you guys get to see exactly how to do it. Now this also can be replaced by whatever your potato of choice is, right? Or your root vegetable of choice is. So let's say you're somebody who like yams, you like uh, sweet potatoes, you like different like dashi and tanya, whatever that is, 
you can use it here, right? So I'm just using sweet potato, I'm just using Irish potato, sorry, because that's the one I have available here to me. All right, so let's wash this properly. And give this a couple more scrubs. Back over here. Make sure and give these a good scrub, right? A really good scrub. All right. All right. So, my potatoes are ready. Now, what I'm going to be doing, I'm going to be looking for something under here. So, I still haven't gotten fully familiar with this kitchen. But I'll put something under here that we can put them in. In the meantime, I'll also light the oven so that we can have that heat go in there. All right? So, there we go. Let's see what we got here. All right, is there anything in here that we can put these in? Now, if not, we got to go back to traditional, which means I'm going to put them straight on the rack itself, yeah? Which it is big enough, so let's do it. All right. So, with that being said, let me go ahead and light the oven so that we can get this going. I do not see any rack, which means I'm going to have to put them directly on the grill. And I have about seven potatoes, so that should be pretty easy to do. And uh, let's go from there, yeah? All right, so the oven is lit. That worked out well. Preheating that for a bit. And then I'm going to be working on these potatoes. No. So while we're here, I'll do an example. I will also heat the skillet and put the rice in there, the rice grains, just to sort of show you exactly how we toast these grains. All right. So let me get my skillet out. I still use my tea to open everything. Yeah. Yeah, that should be about enough. That's about a cup, a cup of rice, a cup of brown rice. So the goal of this, as you guys, as I said before, is for me to start to break down the phytic acid and to make this food more absorbable. Now, I would definitely recommend you do all of this before if you have the equipment, um, like a big container. You can do all your rice before and then just put it back in the container. So the next time you're ready to take it out and cook, it's already prepared, all right? So what we're going to be doing here, we're going to be eating up this. So what you do, once you get this, you sort of turn the grains around. All right, so you turn the grains around like this, just so that they don't burn. And what I will also do, I'll probably turn the heat on low as well. Right, just to make sure it doesn't burn. So turn the heat on low. I'm going to do this for about 15 minutes. Right, and you don't need to be turning the grains every time. You just turn it when there is um, something there to be done, yeah? Yeah, you don't need to be constantly turning the grains. Just turn it ever so often. Just to make it easy for yourself. You don't need to be constantly turning, turning, turning. Just turn it ever so often. Alright guys? Cool. So, that is going there. What else can we do? Now, we have our beans. These have been soaking overnight. These are our lentils. Right? So, what I'm going to do, um, I've already prepared these. I'm going to strain these out using what we got available. And then I'll add some seasonings and stuff to it and make it really work. All right? Here we go. So, all this is part of the meal prep number two. What we're doing, we're preparing these ingredients in bulk so that we can use them in recipes throughout the week. This way, you're not scrambling and you're not like unprepared that I don't have this to cook. I have to go and buy food now, which is normally not the good food. So, this is what I'm preventing you guys from doing. Put in all of your raw ingredients together so that you'll never have to worry about going and buying food. Because whenever you come home now, this is already prepared. Pre-prepared, if that's the word. And now you just take this and heat it up or do what you want with it. Alright? Keep that in mind. Alright ladies, so one important thing. Before you put your potatoes in to bake, to speed up the process, punch holes in them. So I got a fork here and I'm just punching holes in here. See? As we go along. Just punching holes in it. Now I can take this and do what I want after this, right? Just punch a couple holes in them. Oh, I got some of my face there.
Now one more thing I'll do, I'll go ahead and cover the pot with the beans. Turn the heat down a bit. Right, perfect. Alright, so I just got done the potatoes, it's time to put them in the oven. So while we're working on that, right, I'm just gonna continuously store this. Let me see about 15 minutes. I just made the rice. And a nice little look at it too, the greens are going to get nice and brown-ish, so that's a way to know when you're finished, yeah? Now remember with the beans, right guys? Um, because I already know what I'm going to do with it, I'm going to start to add some season and salt. But if you just want to keep it flat, you can just boil the beans. Lentils does not take a long time to boil. It takes about 15 minutes. Once it starts boiling, about 15 minutes it should be ready, provided that you are in it soaking overnight, right? And the reason for the soaking, again, is to make it more nutritionally absorbable, right? So I'm going to add my salt and my seasoning to it because I already know what I'm going to be doing with it. So I'll go ahead and do that now. So I'm using iodized salt. Now, if you can, Use sea salt or pink Himalayan salt. These are loaded with a bunch of minerals that are really good for your body. And again, because I'm outstation, I'm just using what's available. So iodized salt is what I have available. Alright, so my grains are beginning to turn nice and brown and they are a little bit on the warm side, so I'll turn the heat down a bit. Right, let me go ahead and turn the heat down. Alright, if you guys can see here, it's becoming nice and brown. Alright guys, so the stuff is finished here and I'm going to bring that camera close so you guys can see. So first off, let me go ahead and take out these potatoes. Alright ladies, so check it out right here. So that's your potatoes right there. Right, the potatoes are finished. That's the rice, if you guys can see the texture, it's nice and brown, really sweet, and that is your lentils. So guys, that's your meal prepping done right there, and you can do this as soon as you buy your groceries. So when you're unboxing your groceries, like when you're taking them out, you could go ahead and set your oven up and start doing this right off the bat. Now obviously this is not going to be eaten like this. Now what this is, this is the raw ingredients to prepare your meals for the week. So for example, we could take these potatoes, we can dice them or we could put them into cubes and then we could stir fry it with a little bit of virgin olive oil and some of your favorite herbs, rosemary, parsley, whatever your favorite herbs are, sprinkle a little dash of salt in it and you can stir fry it up. That's gonna be your carbohydrates. You can take these lentils, you can turn them into patties, right? You can turn them into patties, you can turn them into burgers, you can turn them into balls if you want to use as like the alternative to meatballs, right? And of course, you're gonna take this rice now and you're gonna put it back, once it's cooled off, you're gonna take this rice, you're gonna put it back inside of your container. So whenever you're ready to cook, this is already ready. So it's gonna be a quick and easy process. Now the goal of meal prepping here is to prevent you from eating crappy food because let's be honest, as mothers and wives, right? When life get busy, when the kids are demanding, when work is demanding, when time is short, we reach for whatever is easy. So all we are doing here, we are shortcutting the process. We are making these easy so that when you are short on time and you didn't get time to go ahead and do your fancy meals, you can just reach for some potatoes, dice them up, stir fry. The rice is already prepared if you want to go with that. You would have already prepared your burgers or whatever you're going to be using this lentil for. Or even you can just use it as a lentil soup. So you can create your lentil soup right there. You're already prepared. Meal is done. And let's do one more thing here. You guys remember from the last video, 
that we did our broccoli. We have all these in the fridge. Now these does not take a lot of time to prepare or our parsley. We've got fruits, whatever we want here. In a future video, I'll show you how to take these and make different meals and meal prep throughout the day and keeping it delicious. It doesn't have to be boring. All right, ladies, so I am here. I'm gonna have this lunch that we made earlier today. And uh, let me just flip the camera around so you guys can see how it looks. All right, so here we go. This is the lunch. I've packed it here in a tubo container. And there we go. So we got some potatoes there, the baked potatoes that we did earlier. We do have the curry lentils here and then I threw some broccoli into it, right? Now if you notice I also sprinkled some, what is this called again, sunflower seeds and also nuts. That's just going to give me the healthy fats there just to taper this meal off. Now with the potatoes I could have diced them and just stir fry them again with some rosemary but I was pressing for time so I just put them in just like that. And you could also glaze them, you could also peel them, mash them, whatever your choice is. So here we have the carbohydrates, we have the proteins here on top, is the fats, and of course we have our veggies here. Complete meal, and you guys saw how we did the meal prep, so go and do likewise. Hope you enjoyed this video, hope you gain a lot of value for it. More importantly, go ahead and practice it. Now I'm going to be releasing more videos like these, so to get access to it, don't forget to go ahead and subscribe below and also click the notification bell so that you can be the first to be notified whenever we release new videos. Jason Craig here, have yourselves an awesome day and I'll see you all in the next video.